Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Now please subscribe if you haven't already and hi, welcome to my channel if you're new here. Um, I want to talk a little bit about positivity when others put you down. Um, I'm going to sit down. Now I'm in my mom's preschool, that's where I always film. Um, but I wanted to talk about being positive when others try to put you down. And I guess I thought I'd do this because a lot of people have been put down and I see a lot of comments and on Instagram and on YouTube and it totally breaks my heart because I don't know why anybody would say that to other people but I've been exposed to it so I thought I'd talk about how do I stay positive now a lot of people actually ask me like wow you're such a positive person you don't care what others think of you how do you do that okay first thing I always think about two things one they're probably a miserable person or they're jealous of, of you or they're just probably miserable about something because it doesn't take nothing to be a kind person so obviously they're probably miserable second they probably want to pick out a flaw that they see in you so they can put you down they're like wow i have a lot of flaws i'm gonna find another flaw in that person that just mm. you know her trailer's really dirty like i'm not gonna say something so how do you stay positive how do you get rid of that and my suggestion would be remember those two things. And remember you're doing what you love, so don't listen to them. And I guarantee you will be a happier person if you remember that and do what you love because that is you and no one else needs to interfere with you and your horse. So remember those things. Also, I've been exposed to a lot of those things. Um, I've been a rodeo. My cousin does rodeo, so I've heard a lot of stories about people saying things about even your horse and like a lot of people say I don't feed my horse or that like I just don't know what I'm doing but um remember that you're doing what you love and they probably don't know what goes on with you and your horse so they don't really have a right and they don't really know like they can't really say that but they do anyways so I honestly beg you guys to remember those things and it's gonna make you a happier person guaranteed and I used to get so down about that like I get so down I'd cry and I wanted to stop riding and now I'm like I don't even care I'm taking my horse anyways I'm actually gonna take my horse to my facility where a lot of girls say stuff almost every time I bring him there I had one time when someone did say I didn't find my horse and he wasn't even there and I was like oh my gosh like can I just shoot you right now no, no, just kidding. I would never do that. <laughs> but, like, it was like, are you serious? It's almost so funny. Like, why would you say that? You don't even know what goes on. So you don't even need to cry about it. It's just them being jealous. But I just thought that it would just be a good video. And stay positive, you guys. You don't need to let some stupid person ruin your relationship with your horse and what you do. Because you love what you do. And I used to be insecure about going to, like, Jim Cannon and stuff. Because I... But I think I was like, mm, maybe I don't look that good. Maybe I don't ride that good. But I remember I'm like, I'm doing what I love and I'm learning. So if someone wants to pick it out, go ahead and pick out my flaw. But I'm t I just ask you guys to please stay positive and be a positive person. Always, always, always. And always say, be thankful and continue riding and love you guys. If you don't ride, it's okay. Continue loving yourself and be healthy and thank you all for watching love you guys